How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to a new Let's Play. Believe it or not, we are starting up a melee playthrough in uh, Master Mode here on the Drunk Seed. As you can see, we have the uh, party girl there. A lot of you guys wanted me to play on the new, like, legendary mode. I think Get Fixed Boy. There's a bunch of different names for it. Um, but it's just being covered so much, and I wanted to just experience kind of everything melee has to offer, and I think... If we go on that seat, it kind of steals the showcase, and that would deserve its own thing at some point. So, that's what we're going to do. Um, so, again, like I said, this is a melee playthrough, so we're just going to focus on predominantly the melee changes and see how things go. Uh, but yeah, we have the party girl here. I don't think we get anything useful. There is uh, other world music going on in the background, which is a very cool thing. I will be very much so appreciating that as we go. Um, I don't see anything useful from any of that, so we're just gonna keep going. Ooh, okay. I think we can deal with vultures, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna love them. I love the music, though. Okay, no, we definitely cannot. Maybe if I do this. <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks to our tools only run. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, I will see you guys in, like, 20 minutes when this thing dies. Oh, no. The slime. The slime. Oh, don't hit it. Don't hit it. No, <laughs> no, this is bad. Uh, run. Okay, again, like I said before, we're gonna focus on new changes to the melee class. I just want to get the true full melee experience. So yes, there was a bunch of swords and things that have changed, but I want to try out much more than that. I want to use spears. I want to use like you know maces and stuff. I want to use boomerangs. Everything. I want to just get a good sense of where melee's at because. You know, it's been a while since I played the class, and, uh, you know, now is the perfect time to get back into it and see what's good, see what's great. So, in order to do that, uh, I definitely will very appreciate you guys commenting on things I should, uh, oops, <laughs> things I should check out. So, if there's anything that you guys think that, uh, should be showcased and covered in one of the episodes, uh, definitely let me know. Because, again, I would love to, uh, check out some cool stuff. Things that have changed, things that are just really strong. Things that just aren't covered as much as they should be. All of that. I don't think I even mentioned why we're playing... One of the reasons why we're playing the Drunk Seed. Uh, it's so that we get both world evils. So we can properly try out both Light Spain and Blood Butcher. So we have both options that we can go for. Now, I don't know if that means we get both Demonite and Crimson Ores spawning around the world. That's usually how I get um, these things early. So, that's what we're going to do. I'm basically going in blind. I think I tried this very briefly on release day. But, uh, didn't really explore things much further than that. So, I knew the music would change. And, that's kind of it. That's <laughs> all I know. I, I honestly totally forgot the party girl would, would be there. And, oh, and then the biomes, of course. The biomes switching. So, we'll explore the changes. Again, it's not the focus of this playthrough. We're just kind of... Oh. That was almost bad. Uh, yeah, we're just going to see how things go and uh, take it from there. Whoa. Is this the night music? That's crazy. <laughs> this is pretty, uh, pretty dark for, I mean, it's nighttime, but <laughs> pretty dark for just a normal night. Uh, I'm digging it, though. I guess I'm going to go mine a bit. Now, ah. Okay, never mind. That was a very short-lived <laughs> mining session. <laughs> yeah, one of the good things, though, I just realized about playing on... Or during October. So uh, this, uh, this is being recorded during October. So we have the event going on, as I'm sure you probably noticed by now. Um, so why does this matter? Well, you will probably notice there's pumpkins around. So these will just spawn uh, randomly. Just the whole time. As long as this event is active. So... This is really good early on. One, because of pumpkin pie. We'll have, like, as much as we want. And two, we get pumpkin armor. And it's it's actually pretty good. It gives, I think, 8 or 10 defense, one of the two. And then a 10% increase to your damage. Which is pretty solid. I mean, early on, especially if you just don't have to do anything. You literally just wait. It's uh, very good. So I will be going for that uh, pretty soon here once those pumpkins uh, are ready to be harvested. But, uh, yeah, we'll just keep on going until then. Whoa. I don't think I've ever heard this track before. Wow. <laughs> so eerie. This is cool. I like experiencing these for the first time. Let me know if you guys have, have heard all these before. I think I have the soundtrack for both. I've never heard this one, though. Very interesting. Um, Ice Blade's a thing, right? 
Not that it was really changed, but, uh, ooh, I'll take those. Not quite what I was thinking of, but uh, that works. Okay, this is interesting. All right, here, this is exactly what we were looking for. This is Demonite Ore. Now, we can bomb this, which means we can get these weapons before taking on the Eye of Cthulhu. Now, this is huge because, well, it's a new weapon that we get to try. <laughs> so, I do see that dart trap. Um, oh, okay, I gotta be kind of careful here. Now, we need, if I am remembering this correctly, 10 bars for the sword, which is, I believe, 30 ore. So I don't think that's quite uh, what we have here, but we'll get fairly close. Oh, what? Hello? Where did you come from? We didn't mine a... Do those just spawn? Oh, I saw a chest, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> but do those just spawn in, in in this seed? Maybe this is a vanilla thing and I'm just unaware of. Um, but, yeah, I don't remember ghosts just randomly spawning unless you take out a... Uh, a gravestone but apparently that's a thing well good to know whoa wait isn't that a really rare hold on I think that's really rare but we just got the uh, sugar glider pet <laughs> so <laughs> that's kind of cool I think that's super rare I haven't gotten that very often maybe even this might only be my second time that i've ever seen it but here's the pumpkin armor we're gonna start getting this oh i should have got the boots i guess i can get both um there we are all right so we're starting to get that right okay yeah so that's only eight bars that is not quite enough we'll be needing probably one more vein uh that's only enough for the bow again i'm pretty sure that we need about 10 so, I'm going to go back to mining and uh, see if we can get that. Actually, first, before we mine, I'm going to get the rest of this pumpkin set. I think that's enough for the helmet. Should be. All right. There we are. So, as you can see... Okay, it's less defense than I thought. It's 7 defense, but 10% increased damage. Not too bad. I mean, 10% on top of a <laughs> 11 damage melee sword. You know, it's only 1 damage. But, you know, it, it adds up. It adds up, so we'll take it. And it's just decent defense pretty quick. So, back to mining. I'll see you guys in a bit. Ooh, Crimson Ore. Okay. Ooh, okay. I heard somewhere that the Trident is pretty good now. 15 melee damage looks pretty nice right about now. Increase mobility and water when held. Hold up to descend slower. Oh, very nice. Cool. All right, that's handy. Uh, we also got shark bait. I've never, this must be new. I don't know what to what to use. Okay, everybody vote in the comments. Shark or uh, or squirrel, which one? I'm thinking shark just cause it's new. I'm gonna put it on for today, but uh, let me know if I should switch back. I'll leave that decision up to you guys. All right, so we found, it looks like two, <laughs> two more ore. I'm kind of regretting not picking up, uh, there was like one Demonite Ori left somewhere. <laughs> Regretting not picking it up. I thought, I figured we'd see more than just two. It counts though. Now I think that's another bar, but that'll still only put us, yeah, just two. It's only put us a nine. Nine out of ten. So we still need one more. Um, but I'll keep searching. Oh, nice. Okay. Not only we find more Crimtane, I think it's Crimtane. I think I'm <laughs> pretty sure I'm saying it wrong. I mean, I put your stuff all the time, so. You know what's new but uh nice okay in addition to this whatever you want to call it red stuff we found the last of the demonite required for the sword so we definitely get to try out light's bane here not sure about the uh the blood butcher yet but that should follow suit pretty soon i think we're about halfway to the uh blood butcher at this point with how much we've gotten so i'm i'm excited dude i'm excited okay let's go uh try this out I was going to wait till we had enough to get both, but uh, I actually wanted to get a better pickaxe anyways right now, so <laughs> we're going to do that. Uh, to this real creepy background music. <laughs> that is uh, just a standard with with night, so that's pretty cool. Um, there we go. Light's Bane. No reforge, but better than a bad one. And uh, here it is. Oh, it just looks so good. 
it's such a cool effect. I mean, something simple like that is all you need to make these weapons, like, at least in my opinion, just so much more interesting to use. And I, it's just cooler. It's just way cooler. Yeah, super glad we uh, get to use this here. And that melee got some buffs early game, because this is where it was really not that interesting. It'd mainly just be yo-yos that you'd use. But yeah, no, that's that's really solid. So the projectiles don't do quite as much. I'll try and let it run through the projectile here. So about 9 damage versus the actual sword hit. Uh, 18, right? That'll be the full base damage versus, I guess, about half. Uh, but both can hit the enemy, right? Obviously, so uh, they do stack. And it just looks so cool. <laughs> Super cool, and uh, obviously it's going to be a lot better for crowd control. Now, Blood Butcher, I think, is more so single target DPS because of the uh, effect. But you guys will see that in due time. Um, I have to go find the materials. So I will get on that and uh, I'll join you guys back here in a second. Yes, look at that. That's a lot. I think that's everything. <laughs> nice. You'd love to see it. Okay, I'm going to mine to this, blow it up, and then we should be ready to go. Alrighty. We are ready to get the Blood Butcherer. I'm very excited for this one. It's uh, it's just got a really nice effect to it. Um, it visually, not as striking as uh, <laughs> the Light Spade, I must say. You can better see it in daylight. This thing just looks so cool. Um, and then this guy, again, not as crazy visually. Uh, but the bleed, there's a, there's a visual effect on the bleed. Um, I think there's a... I don't know if bleed's necessarily the right name for it. Um, it's interesting how it, the tooltip doesn't change to, like, say what it does, but anyways, let's uh, try it out on this, uh... Oh, so we got bulky, which is pretty nice. Um, less speed, but, we'll, you know, we'll take it. So, as you can see, a uh, little bit of a bleed, a little debuff right there. And the more times we hit it, the higher that will stack. It'll stack up to 20, and it's, uh, it's just very solid. Like, we're gonna see 8 damage there. That's a solid debuff. And it lasts quite a quite a long time. Like, yeah, we didn't... It, we, we stopped hitting it at like half health and it was able to just die to it. So very solid. Um, let's see if we can get one more so that I can use the Light's Bane on it. Um, at this point, I think I'm ready to do a boss fight. Probably King Slime first. I think I want to wait till I have maybe the Blade of Grass before we uh, take on the... I have Cthulhu. But King Slime, we could totally do with this gear. So... I think I'm gonna go do that. I <laughs> haven't quite found our uh, Crimson or Corruption biome. So, but that's okay, because I still have to make the crown. So let me make this crown, get the summoning item. Oh, first, hold on. What do you have? Anything for us? Uh, DPS meter, perfect. Just what I was looking for. All right, so I'm gonna make the crown real quick and also the summon. And then I'll see you guys when we're ready to take on this boss. All right, we are going to get this started. Now, normally I have some sort of platform <laughs> for this fight, but uh, we are not using one today. Uh, mainly just because I don't actually have a cloud in a bottle or grapple or anything to even get there. So I could have made stairs, but I just can't be bothered. So we're going to try without. Uh, in terms of buffs, we got pumpkin pie, regen, and iron skin. And I think I'm just going to mainly stick to these two weapons. And yeah, just see what works better against this boss and... Well, I guess just bosses in general. See what's more optimal. Uh, you know, I st I'm going to get a shine potion. Hold up. <laughs> it's still pretty dark. I think I have one. I hope I have one. Um, yes, we do. Whoa, 95 damage. Okay. we, we got. Oh, this is unique boss music. Oh, that's awesome. All right. One thing I'm noticing immediately is um, I don't like the fact that we turn around. I really don't like that. Oh, Oh, we died. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's my fault. I shouldn't have gone for the Shine Potion. Yeah, we were low. Okay. No, I'm stubborn. I'm stubborn. We're doing that again. Please tell me I kept gold. Oh, we did not. Okay. No, no. We're, we're, <laughs> we're not leaving it like that. Hell no. We are taking this thing down. I will destroy it. If it's the last thing I do. All right. Slime crown acquired. Let's uh, let's give this a go. <laughs> this time I'm gonna buff. I noticed last time I uh, afterwards I I didn't actually buff. You guys probably noticed that too. Uh, so this time we have buffed. We're gonna use a summon and we're gonna try not to die. 
Now, the most annoying thing from this is the fact that uh, the Blood Butcher will turn around. So it's a little harder to space with it. Um, but as you can see, that debuff is, is already putting in work. Uh, we're going to let it teleport. There we are. I love this new boss music, though. It's so... Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's so great. But we're going to deal the uh, debuff here. And I'm thinking maybe just switch to um, this while the debuff's going. Maybe. Uh-oh. But yeah, the brass in this theme is, is awesome. It's so weird hearing it in-game, though, in Terraria. You're not used to this sort of, uh, I don't know, instrumentation in the, the game. <laughs> it's just, it's, 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 it's cool. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I gotta be careful, though, because this thing hits like a truck, as you guys saw in the last attempt. Um, so, I'm gonna try and jump over it here. Once it does the big jump, like so. Now, the problem is, because I did not... I, I didn't have a platform. There will be slimes the whole way back. I'm hoping most of them despawned. Uh, lots of times they're pretty stubborn, though. They're often quite stubborn in that regard. But yeah, it, it's a little bit of a, of a dance you have to <laughs> you have to do with the boss fight to get some hits in, but while avoid getting it yourself. Uh, so yeah, true melee king slime is pretty rough. That contact damage is is brutal. I'm just gonna use this. Now, the, if you'll notice the actual projectile itself doesn't do much damage. It's, it's, or if you can even call it a projectile, whatever you would call it, the slashes there. They don't actually do much. It's, it's more so the, hold on. Is he really just going to go all the way through there? Might as well hit him. <laughs> usually, usually King Slime will teleport, but interesting. Oh, that could have been bad. Yeah, that could have been very bad. Yeah, so, I don't know. I'm just going to do this. I would like to stay close. Oh, I might be dead here. I might be dead here. I gotta go through now. Ah, damn. I'm actually losing to King Slime. <laughs> yeah, these weapons aren't great against King Slime. I will say. Or at least it's... No, yeah, it's not optimal. You don't want to be close. Especially with 200 health. It's, uh... It's not what you want to see. Mind you, I am a little bit underprepared. My base defense is only 8. We are in master mode, so... Yeah, that's not usually what you want to see, especially if you are going to be close to King Slime. Uh, it's totally fine if you've got the range. But it's going to be a little tricky with uh, with everything else. That being said, I won't be uh, switching weapons. Even though they're not ideal for this fight, I really want to like try them out and give them a, a proper chance against it. So I'm just going to gear up, probably get some more life, probably get some more accessories. And... Uh, Again, we'll, then we'll give another go. So, I'll see you guys when I'm all ready. Okay, I am back. <laughs> we had some stuff happen. I started the King Slime fight. Uh, I was recording it, but then found out my audio messed up halfway through. I just cheated in a new summon because it took like 20, 30 minutes to grind up the gel, gold, ruby, and everything. And I was not going to do that again because of some audio issues. So, anyways, doesn't matter. Point is, we're back. Uh, we did get uh, this new pet uh, while on, while during the fight. I think that's part still in audio, though. So. Yeah, the problem with this guy is, wait, we just get the magical. Okay, that's rare, isn't that? <laughs> you guys might it may have or may not have seen that, <laughs> but let's uh, let's give this a go. Now I explained this before, like I said, but uh, I'll probably have to cut most of that out. So. I have gotten a cloud in a bottle, I've made a platform, and I got more health, and that is about the extent of what I have done. Yeah, so I don't know what weapon I should use for this fight, because on the one hand, this does good damage, the debuff's great, um, probably does more damage than Lice Bane if I get the hits, but that's the hard part. I guess if I space appropriately, it's not too bad, but it's it's pretty tricky. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty tricky thing to do, man. So, I don't know. Oh, you're going to try and go through, aren't you? I'm going to keep doing this then. <laughs> Is this cheesing? Maybe a little bit, sort of, but... You know what? <laughs> I've died to King Slime twice already. We're not going to make that three times. Oh. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I don't want to die to King Slime three times. That would be rather tragic. Uh, once is already bad enough. Three times, I think I'd have to retire. So, 
<laughs> we can play it safe. Whoa. It, this speed just comes out of nowhere, man. I might be dead here. I might be dead here. I think I'm just going to chill for a bit. Take it easy. Oh, yeah. Definitely should chill for a bit. Oh, God. I am so scared. Get him, Kyle. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Take him out. Okay, I think I can start attacking again. We have a heal coming up. I don't get one hit anymore, which is great. Oh, this is intense, dude. <laughs> oh, man. This is supposed to be the easy boss fight. Whoa. This is the best strategy to do if uh, there's no slime spawning. Is just to run underneath like that. But it's just... It doesn't really work if you take knockback from the slimes you'll get comboed into king slime and it's hey, you're just gonna have a bad time so not really worth it most of the time but I think with that we have killed our first boss <laughs> we have not died to it three times I don't have to retire this is good news this is good news slimy saddle we'll take that I don't really think we care for this stuff I think we're good with our pumpkin armor. Um, so yeah, that is the first boss, and with these two weapons, they're so much more fun to use now. Like, now, now I actually question, when I get Demonite Ore, do I, I don't automatically go for the Demon Bow. Light's Bane is now, like, a genuine thing I consider. <laughs> Whereas before, no, no way, never. Um, same with the, the Blood Butcher as well, same idea. Good, large range. Like, super, super good range. And then that debuff is really nice. And I think I was... I may have touched on it briefly during the boss fight, but... Where the Light's Bane kind of gets screwed over with things with defense. Because you take the sword's damage, which got, I think... I could be wrong, but I think a slight damage nerf um, with, with this new update. And then you half that for its slash attack here. That slash against enemies that have a little bit of defense isn't going to be doing a lot. Whereas the Blood Butcherer... It doesn't matter how much defense they have. You're going to be doing the same set amount with the debuff. So it's pretty nice um, early to mid early game, I would imagine. But um, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Again, don't forget to comment what you guys would like to see in the uh, next episodes. And if you'd like to uh, see more, then feel free to subscribe. I don't know how many of these episodes I can release a week. I'm going to aim for two, definitely one, but at least two a week is kind of my goal. Thank you all so much for watching today, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.